All right, guys, just finishing up this uh, 2005 Acura MDX, trying to do some spark plug play. Sorry about the background noise. It is Memorial Day weekend. Uh, first thing we're going to do here when replacing the spark plugs is we are going to take off the uh, positive battery terminal. That way we don't so shock ourselves silly. Shock and surprise. Um, this is quite the pain to do. I uh, don't know why it's this hard, but everything on this vehicle is absolutely difficult. So uh, here's some of the tools you need. You need a long flathead, 10 millimeter. We get rid of this one because that was for the battery. Good. Uh, we are going to need one of these bad boys at a six millimeter. Yeah, buddy. Um, now, originally you need the regular 5 eighths, but I'm going to show you why this uh, lovely tool here is absolute garbage uh, in this situation specifically. And then you need one of these. Oh, yes. Wheel mechanics only. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy this. All right, so as you can see here, uh, Acura has done the wonderful job of making the spark plugs in the most accessible spot in the vehicle, right up against the fan. Wonderful stuff, guys, wonderful stuff. We're gonna take our six millimeter. This part is not too hard. As you can see, I've already started here. Oh, no, wait, we've already forgot a step. See this dust cover right here? Let's go ahead and pop this off. Originally, it's gonna be horizontal. You're gonna turn it to the side, side on both ways. Gonna pop off, and then I'm gonna get rid of this tool because we don't need that anymore. There we go. All right, now it's a little bit easier. So you think uh, we freed some stuff up, but you'd be wrong. Let me get this bad boy right here, our six millimeter. Start going counterclockwise. I'm just gonna do this by hand real quick, but you get the idea. All right, we're whittling our tools away slowly but surely. It's fantastic, it's fantastic. See, this is the easy part so long. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna unclip, yeah, gonna unclip the coil. Thank God it's so easy to unclip. I would hate for it to be hard. You can even start pulling it out if you want. Just get some extra space, boom. Beauty. What you're gonna do is, oh no, look, it doesn't really come out. Well, this is the fan. You're gonna have to angle it, push the fan, angle it, and so, believe it or not, we've gotten done with the easy part so far. Here's where the lovely part is. What I've found is that if you have a floppy flop, you have this long piece right here. What you're gonna have is a five eighths on the end, just like you regularly would. And what you're going to have is all kinds of joints on here, followed with these uh, small extensions right here. I got three eighths on these bad boys right now, just so it's not too hard. But what you do is you drop your five eighths in there. You gonna turn it, turn it the camera, turn it, and then this is where all these joints come in. Because if we just had a long rod, this is what would be happening. Try and drop it in there, and look at all this stuff you have to contend with. There's Absolutely no way that we're doing that. So we're getting that tool out of the way. Fantastic. So again, with the floppy flop, you're gonna put this bad boy in here. Put it in. Yeah, there. Yeah, like it, like it, like it. And we gotta, gotta. Thankfully, the fan on this vehicle is moving. And then we gotta make sure we go counterclockwise, and you just kind of, kind of work with it. Boom. Popped it off just right there. But for this display, I'm going to put it right back on because, funnily enough, these spark plugs were just just changed. They just happened to have been changed like not half an hour ago. Um, then you're wondering, well, who has just a magnetic 5 8 Oh, well, if you're a real mechanic, you have one of these bad boys. Boom, with the light. I don't really need the light to be honest with you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna angle this just like this. And you're gonna slide it in here. This is the a magnetic, this is a magnetic uh, straw right here. So what you could do is after you make sure that it is clear, you're just gonna pull it and then slide it out. Now you got what I find is that you gotta really angle this upwards like this so when you come out, you're gonna be holding it and you're gonna have enough space for the spark plug to get out. Don't forget to use the spark plug grease when you put everything back on and yeah, just do everything in reverse and I think you guys are capable of doing this.